Number four, recognizing the mind and body connection. Adrenal fatigue can make us very tetchy, okay, tired and wired. So to protect us, the intuitive self sends out signals to help us relieve stress buildup in the system, okay? So when you're used to pushing things aside or folding into overwhelming emotion, we can't recognize truth from imagination. So what happens then? We lose sight of what's our instinct and what's part of a vivid imagination. So meditation provides access, okay? Meditation provides access to being able to do that. It calms the mind enough to open the mind and body connection. As you looked in the previous point, you know, what is the mind and body connection? Really, it's about the heart brain opening and connecting with the subconscious, okay? Or having a, a deeper connection with that so that the um, two parts of us in that sense can talk to each other okay so meditation provides that access it opens the mind enough to open the mind and body connection so when we have the mind and body connection the body finds it much easier to self-regulate okay it then doesn't feel as though you need other others to validate you um, what does that mean is that you you then feel enough Okay, that you're enough. Meditation doesn't mean sitting for hours. It doesn't mean that at all. As you know from the, the Mind and Body 2 course that you've been doing, the meditation processes are powerful. They are lasting, yet they take you a few minutes. 